Liz, how are you doing? I'm really good. I just want to praise God. Oh, why? Well, I keep thinking about all the good things God's done and I want to praise him. Yeah, that sounds like all of your mind. Whoa! Yeah, mm. I think I'm going to burst sometimes with all the praise. Yeah, that sounds like all of your heart. Whoa! And I just keep seeing things and then I want to praise him. Oh, all of your soul. And I just want to jump up and down with the children. <laughs> that sounds like all your strength. Yeah. But how do I put all that together? Yes, I hear you. A bit tricky with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. Let's go to Faith Bear who will help us understand. Over to Faith Bear. Hello, Faith Bear. What window is the story through today? Is it the square window? The circle window? Or is it the arched window? Hello, I'm Thelma. There was a man in the Bible who loved God with all his heart, mind, soul and strength. His name was Moses. Moses was the leader of God's people and he led them to a great big mountain that God had told him to go to. I love you and you are my special people, so I want to tell you the best way to live. God said to Moses. He then gave Moses 10 best rules to help them to be happy. Do you know what we call these rules? Yes? It's the 10 commandments. After God had told Moses the 10 best rules, Moses went and told the people. When he had finished telling them, he said, the best way to live is to love God and to love one another. This is what God wants and this is the best way to be really happy. What do you say? And the people shouted, we say yes. We will love God and we will love each other. We will live as God wants us to, they promised. So the 10 rules were written down so that the people would always remember to love God with all their heart, mind, soul and strength and to love each other. Wow, isn't that great? That God not only loves us very, very much, but he also tells us the best way to live and be happy. That is certainly something to praise God for. See you soon. Bye. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in Psalms 150 verse 6. Wow! Hey guys, can I join in? Because in the Bible it says, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from Psalms 150 verse 6. Okay! <laughs> <laughs>
Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6. Verse 6. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6. Verse 6. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God made the universe, God made the land and sea, God made animals and plants. And God made trees, and God made you and me, you and me, me and you, you and me. God made the sky, birds that fly high, God made swimming fishes too. God made ants, and God made wasps and slugs. Wasps and slugs? Because everything is beautiful to God. Everything is wonderful to Him. Everything was made for a special reason. Everything is beautiful to God. God made the universe, God made the land and sea, God made animals and plants. God made trees, and God made you and me, you and me, me and you, you and me. God made the sky, and birds that fly high, God made swimming fishes too. God made ant, and God made wasps and slug. Wasps and slug? Everything is beautiful to God. Everything is wonderful to Him. Everything was made for a special reason. Everything is beautiful to God. Everyone is beautiful to God Everyone is wonderful to Him Everyone is made for a special reason Everyone is beautiful to God Everyone is beautiful to God You and me are beautiful to God when we go wow yeah. and our strength is when we praise God with clapping or wiggling our toes <laughs> <laughs> so here's a challenge children this week try and praise God with all of those things our minds our hearts our souls and our strength oh it's been great to see you and we'll see you next time bye children bye.